Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is ninth video of multi vendor e commerce website in Django with React JS. In this video, we are going to implement the pagination, right? So I'm I hope you are aware about the pagination. If not, then let me tell you, pagination is a functionality in which we can split our data in multiple steps. We can fetch our data in multiple steps. Like for example, if we have five hundred rows, then we can uh, we can show 100 rows uh, uh, at one time and then we will trigger some event then it will show 100 in the next time ok so this is one kind of pagination right so uh, how we can implement this ok so if you go to the documentation of Django REST framework and you, you, you can simply search, you can simply go to API guide and simply search the pagination there they have explained everything right so mainly we have two kind of uh, two two styles in the pagination they are providing one is a limit offset and another is page number pagination we can also customize this okay so in this video we will see that uh, we will implement these two styles limit offset pagination and page number pagination so limit offset is actually limit offset means i'm just going to giving I, i'm just giving you overview uh, later we will implement this so limit offset is how many data we want that is a limit offset means from where we want to start the data and this is page size page size okay so this page size is like 100 data we want so this is one kind of uh, thing okay in the page number pagination we will show the uh, we will go to page number wise like page 1 page 2 page 3 that wise okay so let's implement this pagination so first of all we will go to the settings.py file our project level settings.py file then we will uh, we will say default pagination class default pagination class okay so i hope this spelling is correct okay so default pagination class that is rest framework dot pagination dot dot pagination dot limit limit offset limit offset pagination okay and then page size page size so i will put one because i don't have number of data so i'll put one okay now if i go to the order list here then if i refresh here let me show this so what is that uh, default pagination rest framework let me see yep everything is correct let me run this again okay so ref oh not this this one so here you can see that total result is showing next is nothing so that it is showing null previous is here we have so that it is showing limit one and total result is in the result data we can change we can change these things okay we can change this uh, you know uh, this attribute name okay and we can also change this we will see in the next video that how we can customize this pagination right and if we go to this limit one then here this is the first page right so we have the next data previous is null so we have limit offset it means it is it it, it will give us one data and start from one okay so this is limit offset pagination right so actually when we connect this api with the react then we will send the limit and offset if we if we apply the uh, limit and offset pagination okay the next pagination is page number pagination right okay one more thing we are applying this pagination on a project level settings right you can also apply on specific view level right so this will apply on every api if we go to uh, what others we have like products do we have yes products so it will apply on every on every uh, uh, every api okay but if you can apply on specific uh, specific uh, uh, view also okay we will see in the next video okay so in the next video we will see actually two things how we can customize and how we can apply specific view level pagination right so the next is page number pagination okay so what we need to do for the page number pagination we just replace the we just need to replace this limit offset so if, if we copy paste this okay so if we paste this let's see what it is giving us 
if we refresh this then it will give us page 2 only okay so it is giving us page 2 okay so it means the page 2 number pagination okay we just need to pass the page 2 and it will calculate everything automatically according to the page size all right you understand all the things okay if you have any question any doubt then please comment and uh, you can also explore this uh, uh, pagination api guide they are explaining everything very well right so here you can see that they are providing lots of parameters for the customization right so i think uh, this is uh, this is the basic uh, view basic overview that how we can work with the pagination in the next video we will see we will apply uh, we will uh, customize and we will apply on view level right so thank you so much for watching this video and please share subscribe like this channel and uh, you can download the projects django projects for your practice on projectplaza.com here okay it's not free but it's not very high cost maybe some projects because uh, we have uh, i have spent so much time on the project and lot of functionality so that may be a uh, high cost but uh, all the projects has a low cost like 30 dollar 10 dollar okay so you can download for your practice and uh, follow the social media channel so thank you so much for watching this video thank you